This is right here by my house. It's the mailbox right over there. And right here you got this guy. I first saw it. See, it's right here by the steps of my house. The driveway. When I first saw it, I thought it was a small crocodile or tiny alligator or something like that. But it's just an iguana. Some kind of lizard. I... I guess it's about six feet long with that tail. With that tail. I mean, the first time I've seen him here. I've seen things like that out in that vacant lot over there. But he's just hanging out. Is he alive? I bet this cold weather is bugging him. I mean, look, it's probably down about 55 degrees, maybe 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, of course it'd be Fahrenheit, and that is probably too cold for that kind of thing. Gives a little shivers. we are just not used to it. I'm not that used to it anymore, either. I used to live where we had snow and ice, and so temperatures like this would be considered warm. But I've been around here for a while, and yeah, so it is a bit chilly. Trying to see whether he's breathing. Well, that would be a bad place for him to hibernate. That's for sure. The car right there. Yeah, I don't... See the house? Yeah, I don't think that's a great place for him to be. He got run over. Well, I don't plan to move that car for a few more days. Uh, take the other car if he's still there. I'd probably take the other car anyway. Be bad if some dog or hound or something like that comes up here and rips him up. Yeah, dogs will. I don't know. I don't have a dog, but some other persons around here do. Try to give you an idea of the size. Okay, there's my shoe. It's about a size ten and a half or eleven. Now he's a bit of a distance there. Uh, okay, my shoe there is about a size ten and a half or eleven sandals. And there's the lizard. He might get nervous pretty soon. It just might be too cold to move. I'm sure he doesn't like that. I wonder what he tastes like. Pretty good eating. They taste like chicken. Then he tastes like chicken. Or maybe a bit more uh, halibut, maybe? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to use them for food around here. I don't think they're native to this area. I think somebody brought them over and they escaped. I bet when it gets a bit warmer, he's going to leave. It'll get him revived. Unless somebody eats him or kills him before then. These dogs and children and stuff like that that might come by, hit him with sticks. And, you know, Yeah, it already seems like 
Seems like I saw some motion. He's in that shadow. I don't know why. I mean, seems like he should be out where he could get warmer. So it's hard for me to take the uh, picture with him where he is. That's not... Maybe that's why he's right there. He didn't care to have his picture taken. I don't blame him. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's got to be... He's a greenish color. I'm not so sure whether it'll show up that well in the film. Because of this lighting. I am very much an amateur at this. The closest I'd seen one of these next to the house. Although we do have geckos. A different kind of lizard that uh, see on the windows and stuff like that. Some of them can be pretty big. About half the size of this guy. Let's try to get a different angle. Trust me, he has a light greenish color in parts and kind of dark greenish somewhere else. <laughs> 